everybody welcome back to my kitchen you guys today we're getting ready to do this quick and easy recipe I like to call it my hamburger steak or maybe some country style hamburger steak whatever you want to call it but we're using ground beef now I've done this recipe before but the last time I used onions inside of my ground beef and this time I'm going to switch it up a little bit and use some Lipton onion soup mix the beefy onion okay I'm going to use a packet of this inside the hamburger mix as opposed to just adding onions okay here I have about a pound of ground hamburger that I've already rinsed off okay again we're going to use one pack of this beefy onion soup mix now this is going to be so quick and easy I'll be adding a little bit of Worcestershire sauce Worcestershire Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce <laughs> this stuff is so funny because a lot of us have an issue pronouncing that Worcestershire sauce it's all of the C's the C that sounds like the SH and then you have the SH in the Shire and this stuff okay a little bit of that I'm um, add a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder we'll be adding I want to add a little bit of Italian seasoning I can't remember if I added that the last time and you guys oftentimes when I cook I don't always cook things the same way I'll the next go round, I'll do something different. Do any of you all do that? It's just, it just depends on how I'm feeling that day, you know? I'm going to add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in my meat. We're going to make a gravy with it. So those of you that know my dude, number one, he loves gravy. It's gravies and sauces. And so I have a little bit of flour here, just some all-purpose flour, because we're making gravy from scratch. Okay, and then to start my gravy, I like to use a broth as opposed to just plain water because it's going to give my gravy more flavor. So I'm using a beef broth that I made up. I just added some my better than bouillon roasted beef base and I've added some water to it because... I'm trying to get that last little bit out of there. But it's better than bouillon roasted beef base. And I just took some of this and added it to some warm water and just stirred it up, okay? Again, that's just going to give me more flavor than just starting my gravy using water. Okie dokie. And then we're going to take some of these sliced onions and put it over the top as it's simmering. I only need a little bit because it's just me and my dude, number one. I probably won't even eat any, so I just want to make him. This one pound will probably make him at least three. Definitely two, but I'll see if I can get three, three hamburger steaks out of this because he is really trying to start watching. He's trying to watch his uh, portions more. So rather than doing two big large ones, I'll try to get at least three out of this one all right so what we're going to do is get everything mixed up i already have my skillet heating up and when i when i put these in the skillet it's really to kind of brown them on each side they'll cook a little bit but they won't be totally done we love our beef well done meaning no pink in the middle so once i get them out of this front no once i get through i will take them out once i fry them or sear them on each side then I'll make my gravy, and after getting the gravy made, then we're going to put them back in the gravy so they can continue to cook and get done on the inside so we will have no pink. All right? Of course, I have thoroughly washed my hands. You all don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. All right, we will start by... And I have a masher too. I have a masher and I'll probably use a fork. I don't typically use gloves in my kitchen at home when I'm cooking for my family. Okay. So 
I use the masher and I'll probably use the fork to mix it up a little bit and then I'll have to scoop it up and put it in my hands to make the patties. Um, I don't particularly like touching the hamburger but I have to. I don't know. It's something about the hamburger as opposed to chicken. I guess because I have to mix it up in any event. Listen, we're going to mix it mainly by using the masher and probably a fork or what have you. All right. So we're going to start by just adding and I'm eyeing everything. There really aren't any measurements. If I were to try to guess, let's see, we're going to do maybe about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then next we're going to just pour just a little bit of this Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Be mindful because it is it can be salty, okay? And that's the reason we're not adding any extra salt because with the Worcestershire sauce and also with the Lipton, the beefy onion soup mix, it has salt as well, okay? So we don't need any additional salt. We're just going to sprinkle some onion powder. This is so simple to do. You all know I love these quick, simple meals. Garlic powder. Of course, it's going to take, you know, we have to simmer it over the stove, but that's easy peasy. You know, you just have to kind of keep an eye on it. A little bit of Italian seasoning. All right. And y'all, that's it. Easy peasy. Let's see, when I use my little masher like this, it kind of prevents me from really having to use my hands, you know, at least to get it mixed up. Like I said, I'll have to use them to, to make my patties, but not to mix it up. Okay, so I really think we are mixed good, and I didn't have to use my hands. We just want to give the hamburger a little bit of seasoning. Don't want to overmix because that can make your, your hamburger tough. All right, and see then if I just... Scoop it out with this spoon. Let's see, is that going to give me at least three? Yeah, let me see. Let me try to divide it up before I take it out. So that's one, two, three. Okay. I think we can definitely get. And see, then I mix like this, and I'm very mindful not to get, you know, my nails in the meat, okay? I'm really kind of doing it with just the inside of the palms of my hand, okay? All right, now we're going to get this over in the, in the skillet. two a little smaller so I can do four. Sometimes I think when I used only a pound of hamburger it looks like it's just a little bit but then 
Once I got to doing these little patties. Seems like it was more, and I didn't even add any any type of breadcrumbs. Turn this water on so it can be getting hot. So when I get ready to wash my hands and just and like I say, we're just gonna sear these, or they'll start browning. We'll pretty much we'll get them pretty brown on each side. But they won't be totally done in the middle. Because when I tell you, no pink, none, absolutely no pink. So they'll just continue to cook and get brown, and then I'll flip them in just a few minutes. Okay, so now we're going to take them out. I do like to get them pretty brown. And then we want to start on our gravy. I don't need quite all of this. Don't need all of this um grease that's left in here so we're going to pour just a little bit off and I do want to save the the residue from the hamburger that just cooked okay All that's gonna make some that's gonna make some good gravy, y'all. Some good gravy. Let me grab my broth that I stuck back in the refrigerator. And right now I have about let's see, it's about three cups of broth. May not need all of this. And I have you guys pretty close because I really want you to see this process, especially for those of you that may struggle doing gravy. Okay. So I have my temperature. It's like on medium high. And you see this is about what I left in here with the grease. So let me get my arm out of the way. Didn't leave a whole lot. Okay. So we'll start with, I'm going to guess, maybe about, maybe about two tablespoons of this flour. Get my, get my pot holder because that handle is hot. And I want you to see this entire process, okay? So, I'm not, um, I'm not going to cut this part at all. Again, this is to help those who really struggle with making gravy. What I like to do is let this flour cook down or cook long enough until it's the, my desired color. Some people like a light colored gravy. I like a dark colored gravy. Like I like a dark brown colored gravy. I don't like my gravy too light. 
I'll turn my temperature up just a little bit more so it's, it's on about five and a half. And the longer this cooks, you'll see it start to get darker. Be careful not to scorch it. So that's another reason I'm, you know, kind of keeping this spoon moving because it can burn if you don't, you know, keep an eye on it. All right. I'm going to turn my burner up a little more because I'm wanting it to brown faster than what it's browning. So right now it's on about seven and a half. And I like to scrape to get all of that goodness that was left behind from the hamburger, okay? And I love doing this in my skillet, you guys. Can you tell that the gravy is getting darker? throw these onions in here too. That way they can cook a little bit. Because I do not want any crunchy onions. Okay, you see how that's getting darker? Now when it's time to start adding the liquid, you have to be careful because it's going to steam up and it's going to rise up and you don't want to get burned. that's dark enough. I love that dark brown. So now I'm at just a little bit at a time. And I also like to add just a little bit at a time too because it helps me, I'm going to switch to my whisk now, it helps me get it smoother. I don't like no lumpy gravy, okay? No lumpy gravy. Right now my burner is turned on high. Add a little bit more. And as it boils, it helps get rid of the lumps. All right. Y'all see that thickening up? Some more because that's not nearly enough gravy. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep adding the liquid like this and stirring until I get as much gravy as I want. Now, of course, if you're needing a lot of gravy, then you're going to need more than, you know, a couple of tablespoons of flour. See that? See 
how it just keeps getting thick as I'm adding water. We're going to add, I mean, adding my broth. We're going to add more. And I don't think it looks lumpy anymore. Can you all see that? Can you see how smooth it looks? So I, I'm okay now to add as much more broth as I want. But what I want to do first, let me taste it because that better than bouillon that I added, it does have salt in it. So I need to make sure that this isn't really salty because if it is, then I do want to balance it out with some water, okay? And it's not salty at all, okay? So now I'm going to go on and add, uh, we're going to add the rest of that. Yes, we are. And then we'll let it come to a boil. I'll let it boil for a couple of minutes. I'm not going to bore you with that. We're going to let it boil for let it come to a rolling boil and let it boil for maybe a couple of minutes and then I'll add the hamburger back in. Now, wait a minute, before I do that, I do want to add some more seasoning, okay? It wasn't salty, but I also like to season my gravy even the more. We're adding more onion powder. We're going to add some garlic powder and whatever you like to season your gravy with that's what you do uh, let's see let me reach up here let me get the get the pepper i'm going to add some pepper turn this heat down a little bit if you don't keep stirring it will boil over Just gonna add that. The hamburgers, hamburger steaks. And like I say, anything that you want to season. your beef with, I mean your gravy, and also your hamburger. Season with whatever you like. And this gravy is going to thicken up a little bit more even as this simmers. And we're going to let this simmer for about, just about 30 minutes or so. to cover it and let it do its thing okay this is another teachable moment this has been simmering at least about 20 minutes and I can tell that it's not going to thicken up as much as I want it to be See, for in my opinion, the, the type of gravy that we like, this is too runny. Okay? So if you find yourself in this situation, what you do is the rest of that flour that I had left, I added some water to it and stirred it, got it really smooth. This is what you call a slurry. Okay? So we're going to add some of this, probably the majority of it, probably all of it. I'm going to add this while it's boiling hot. You don't want to do this when, if it's not boiling. Okay, I always add this when the, the gravy is boiling. So we're going to add this, make sure it's smooth. 
and make sure it's thinned out enough, okay? And when you add it, make sure you, you stir, stir, stir. So I'm just going to add it right here in the middle. And we're going to stir, stir, stir. I probably really could be using my whisk, but I've already thrown it in the sink. But it's okay. So we're stirring, stirring, stirring. And that's going to help this gravy thicken up and not be so runny. Okay? And you can also make sure you taste your gravy. I did not add any salt because, with again, with the salt in the Worcestershire sauce and then the beefy onion soup mix, I did not want it too salty, so I didn't add any. But this is the time you also taste it to see if it is, you know, has enough salt for you. Now I'm going to turn this burner back down to where we're kind of simmering. Because you don't want to let it keep boiling like that. We're going to turn it back down and let it continue to do its thing. Alright, you see how the gravy has thickened up. I didn't want it too, too thick. But it's not quite as runny as it was. And even after you add the little slurry, if it's still not thick enough, then you just add more. Okay? See the difference in that? I guess I probably need to... <laughs> I need to put it on... I know. I'll just put it on a plate and then we'll take it out. Uh-oh. She said you're going to put, put it on a plate then take it off? Yeah, I just need to... Just Come so on. they can see it. Like our meats done, no pink. Pink. You look like really all in front of me. And of course, guys, you cannot have anything like this without. Now you can go mashed potatoes, or you can go mashed potatoes. Yeah, mashed potatoes. It's a lot of syllables, but mashed potatoes or rice. Well, guess which one I'm going with. You bet, rice. That's the way we're going to have it. Because uh, meat like that without rice is like having peanut butter and no jelly. Some people eat just a peanut butter sandwich. Okay, well, it's like having... Just a peanut butter sandwich. Well, I'm going to put it I am, baby. I'm going to put it back in there. It's just for... So Presentation. Get, so I can get my thumbnail. That's the one. Just give So, everybody, check this out. And Donna can tell you guys this. Donna can tell you guys this. Uh, I'm watching everything I eat now. I did say you were watching your portion size. I'm watching my portion okay. size. So, y'all see. Don't wait, don't You're not going to eat all of these. All of them. I'm going to watch my portion another day. <laughs> Move over that way, sir. <laughs> see? That looks good. Okay. Uh, let me, I tell them, honey, we do no red. Let me cut into this. You want me to cut into the small one? Yeah, real small. Why? You don't want me to mess with your big one? I don't want you to mess with it. See, lower. And I say we like ours done, done. Done, done. Y'all see that? Done. Wait a minute. Done, done. Okay? No You gonna taste good. that look? It really, really looks good. Look. Y'all want me to share? Ooh, don't let that fall off. Here, open your mouth. Open your mouth wide. When I tell you just for presentation, just for presentation. And the gravy is thick. It was a little thinner. I had to thicken it up a little bit. Mm, it's good. That's so good. Mm. good. That's so good. I showed them how to make. That's good. I showed them how to make. Now that's good. Homemade gravy from scratch. 
It's not too salty. That is good. Remember, in my seasonings, I didn't add any additional salt because you didn't need any. You want that little piece right there? I'm going to get that little piece. What you mean? Yeah, we're going to follow that down to the bowl and jump on it like it was a... <laughs> All right, you guys. So another quick, little, simple meal. Rice will be done. In a little bit. But I really did want to share. I know me. I'm a visual learner. And I like for people to show me how to do stuff and explain it. And that's why I, um, they rinse that off for me. Gotcha. That's why I like to show you. I'm, I'm really detailed with certain, well, probably most of the stuff I do in the kitchen. But especially like making that gravy. Because people struggle with making gravy. You don't always have to. And it's okay to use, you know, they have a little gravy packs. I've done that before. I do it sometimes. It just depends on how I feel what I'm doing. But for those who really want to learn how to make homemade gravy, that's how you do it. And make sure you keep stirring it. When you're adding, you know, that flour and that water, that's another key to it. To keep stirring it to make sure it doesn't lump up. Because if And then when you stop stirring it, you'll see that the water will start rising up. And, and I, like I said, I love doing it in my cast iron skillet. The water will start rising up and it'll run over. So you either have to get it off that eye or turn that heat down so you won't have a mess on your stove. I hate it when I'm cooking something and it just bubbles all over. Ooh, on my stove. You good? Babe, don't eat it all night. What you doing? I'm just, I'm, I'm taking some Oh, take, I thought you was digging in the, um, you no, know I'm how not. you good for doing stuff behind my back. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm, I don't change everything about me. Lord, bye. So, and I'm just saying, of course, I thought I, you was going to say, girl, hey. Listen, <laughs> I, I, the thing I'm saying is she's about, Donna's all about, Ooh. um, details. Details. And so I want to be as just as detailed as she is. This is my, my lunch bowl for tomorrow. This is what it's going to go. Where's so. What happened to the top of the meat? What you do with it? What I do with it? Yes, yes, baby. Okay. So nevertheless, this is good. It is really good. It is really, it's tender. It's more since good. You want to come I say really, hey, everybody? Uh-huh. Come on. Come on. Come on, little apple head boy. Little apple head baby. Come on. Be careful. I hit the tripod. Come on, so we can go. So we can let everybody go. Come this way. You can come this way. You did good. You go say, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Where were you sitting over there eating? Pizza. Pizza. That's right. Pizza. Give me a pizza and I get the adult. Alright, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing some. Please consider doing so. By hitting the nosy. That's turning on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when it comes to mommy. That way you'll be notified whenever we are doing whatever it is we're doing over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Jackson, you gonna say bye?